This is how you can record your in-ear mix in stereo. Let's go. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can record your in-ear mix using the iRig Duo Pro. This portable audio interface offers dual input channels with high quality preamps using XLRs or quarter inch cables, balanced outputs, you can even use this to direct monitor your recordings with zero latency. Another cool feature about this device is you can run it using AA batteries. The average battery life is about three hours while recording into a mobile device. You can use this same setup anywhere there is a live in-ear monitor system. You just need a splitter, a headphone extension, and one other cable that you can use to record your mix in stereo. Let's get into it. The first cable I'm gonna talk about is something that actually comes with your iRig Duo Pro. It is a RCA to a lightning cable. This lightning cable plugs directly into any iPhone or iOS device, so you can record your audio and video and it syncs it up automatically for you, which is really cool. Next up on our list is a headphone extension. Every musician should have this. It's just great to have in your personal bag or accessories. Next on our list is a headphone splitter. If you've seen my previous video on how to record your in-ear mix in mono, I'll link that up here in the description. You'll wanna use your splitter each time because this allows you to send that audio directly into your phone. That way the audio and video syncs every time. Otherwise you'll have to sync it up in post. That's why I use a splitter each time I record live. Last up on our list is the stereo cable. This cable is what you will plug directly into the iRig Duo Pro. And then on the other side here, you will see there is an aux jack and this plugs directly into either a P16, an Allen Heath ME or your wireless in-ear pack. Now that we've reviewed every single piece of equipment that I use, let's put this together live. First, grab your stereo breakout cable, take both quarter inch connectors and plug them into the unbalanced ports in your iRig Duo Pro like so. Make sure they're snug and then we'll use that 3.5 mm TRS male cable later. Next, grab your eighth inch headphone splitter and from there, you will plug in the eighth inch male connector into the splitter. This allows the audio signal to be sent directly into the iRig Duo Pro. Now, grab your headphone extension cable and connect it into the splitter. This will give you some flexibility when you're positioning your headphones or your in-ear monitors. Speaking of which, it's time to plug in your in-ear monitors into the female portion of the headphone extension. This ensures that you can still hear yourself while you're also recording at the exact same time. Now let's get everything connected to your device. First, plug in the lightning cord into your Apple device. Whether it's an iPhone or an iPad, this will work. The next item you will grab is the mini DIN cable, and you guessed it, we're going to plug this directly into your iRig Duo Pro. This will establish the connection between your iRig and your Apple device. Now let's set our gain levels for our recording. I recommend starting this off at a volume of two. Use the scroll knobs on both the left and right to set this level. And there you have it. Your iRig Duo Pro is all set up and ready to rock. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more awesome music tech tips. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep making great music.